Okay, welcome back, you guys. It has been a minute since I've done one of these updates. Um, if you followed me at all on social media, you knew why. But before we get into all of that, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when all of our videos go live. And you can join us on live feeds too. We do go live um, a few nights a week. We're getting back to that as well. I'm gonna explain all of that in this video. <laughs> so, um, I am still in off season. Uh, went to the Olympia. Got sick at the Olympia like everybody did. Uh, everybody got the Olympia flu, got home, uh, was sick for a couple of days, went back to working out and everything, and got sick again on Christmas Day. Uh, so on Christmas Day, my headaches began, and they got worse and worse and worse to the point where Monday after Christmas, I had my husband take me to the ER because I couldn't even stand up. Got there, and guess what? I tested positive for the vid. So I was actually negative for the flu, but I tested positive for um, our favorite friend with COVID. Um, so they gave me some painkillers for the headache, and they told me, well, you've been symptomatic for over a week now, so you can just go about your regular life. And I was like, all right, that's it. So with that, I looked up you know, how to get back into your regularly scheduled programming basically when it comes to training and things like that when you do have covid so um i was sick for another couple days like i really felt terrible for another couple days i was tired i slept a lot and then i started feeling better um the worst part about it like i said was the headache and then my throat was re really sensitive so i wasn't able to eat solid foods so when i went through that whole process of about that week to two weeks it was very hard for me to hit macros and things like that because I couldn't I couldn't eat solid food without gagging and coughing. So I was eating a lot of yogurts, soups, things like that, things I didn't have to chew, things that would just go down my throat real easy, um, lots of fruit, things like that. So um, I, I slowly started getting back into working out. I felt I felt fine after a couple of days, but um, the problem when you're sick with this kind of stuff is that if you roll right into your normal activity too fast, then you're going to, you're going to backslide. Um, and obviously with my big event, Cuties Conquering the Stage coming up, I couldn't afford to do that. So I took my time getting back to the gym, um, and went full steam ahead. Um, what was it? Not last, last Thursday, not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before that is when I started really going back to normal. Um. And I've felt pretty good ever since. I haven't felt bad at all. My strength is back to 100%. Um, my endurance is there, all of those things. And, you know, my body is, is coming back to where it was pre pre previously before all of this. Um, actually, almost looks better. And <laughs> so the reason for that is because uh, through the process of having to change my diet, I found some things that were affecting um, my overall feeling and look and digest digestion and I got rid of them and I added things that helped me with that I help, added things that helped me with inflammation so now I'm actually sitting at about five pounds four pounds lighter than I was previously like before the Olympia and it's just inflammation that's gone so I actually feel like I look better now than I did before I got sick uh, which is a little bit crazy. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I was actually really, really disappointed and, and downturned and all that kind of stuff by the fact that I had to basically stay out of the gym for almost three weeks. Um, you know, when you're working so hard towards the goal and something like that happens, it's, it's tough mentally, more so mentally than it is physically. And for me, mentally, it really hit me hard. And, um, but when I came out of it and I started feeling healthy again, and I saw my body actually responding better than before, I was like, man, well, maybe, I, maybe I just needed to go through this. I actually needed to go through this in order to figure these things out about how my body needs to adjust to certain things. Um, so, you know, I, I, I've incorporated a lot of different foods. I took out eggs. Um, I didn't realize how badly eggs were messing up my digestive system, but they actually were quite a bit. Um, and this is something that I find is actually a common thing. Um, and thank goodness I took them out now because obviously eggs are through the roof expensive. So <laughs> boom, killed two birds with one stone right there. So that worked out. Um, and my, uh, again, my body and the way I feel is actually better than I felt before the Olympia, before I got sick. Um, so, you know, there, it was a blessing in disguise at the end of the day. And I actually feel like I'm in a better spot right now than I was even, you know, a month, six weeks ago. 
So with that, you know, our Cuties Cock on the Stage weekend was this past weekend. It was phenomenal. It was probably the best weekend I felt like, and I say this every year, but I feel like it gets better every year. I personally had a whole lot more fun this year. I don't know why, but I did. Several people said that to me, that it just seemed like my energy was different this year. Um, and I agree it was, and I don't really know why. I don't really know why it was different, um, but it was. I just had a blast. I had, I had so much fun. It was such a good weekend as far as content was concerned. Um, and I really made a conscious effort to be present in the moment. Uh, I think a lot of times when I run these events, I've been doing them for eight years now, and I get so caught up in making sure that the event is going to go off perfectly that I don't personally enjoy it. You know what I mean? I get so I get so caught up in, in the details that I forget to sit back and say, hey, I made this. Like, I need to actually enjoy what I'm doing. Um, and I made a very conscious effort to do that this year, and I think it really, really paid off. Um, so my plan going forward is just to get my body back to normal. Um, again, I feel like I am pretty much back to normal, but you know, I just came out of, um, a few weeks of being sick. And then with cutie slack on the stage, my training, um, I didn't train for four days, but with that, typically I take a rest day every week. So the week before cutie's cock on the stage, I didn't take a rest day this week. I won't take a rest day. So at the end of this week, it will essentially be evened back out with my training. So I won't have missed a beat basically. Um, you know, as far as my stats are concerned, everything has stayed like exactly the same. Like my, even, you know, when I got my feedback from Jamie today after my, after my check-ins today, um, she said, she's like, I'm kind of shocked that your weight is exactly the same. <laughs> it's like, she's like, even with everything that you did this weekend, all this stuff, I said, yeah, I know. I said, I'm very, I'm actually, I've mentioned this before. I am anal when it comes to my check-in days. I want everything to be exactly the same as quick, as closely as possible every single week. Um, so even down to how I prepare for it the night before, like how I get my sleep, how I eat my food, how I drink my water the day before my check-in, I try to keep all of that very consistent every single week so that when I get up, my, my Thursday morning check-ins are as close to exactly the same kind of stimulus that I had the week before. Um, so yeah, my weight has been exactly the same <laughs> every check-in for several weeks. So she actually asked me if, um, if I was, if my scale was broken and, um, and I told her, no, my scale is not broken because I do weigh myself daily. Um, I've mentioned this before too. I do weigh myself daily cause I want to see what the fluctuations are based on what I eat, you know, how much I drink, my sodium intake, all those kinds of things, what I train that day. Um, so no, I definitely, my weight does fluctuate throughout the week about, you know, between a pound or less than a pound or so. Um, but my, my actual weigh in days have been exactly the same, um, for quite a few weeks now. Um, even through getting sick and everything. So um, so with that, she asked me to just log my daily weight um, for, I'm mean, probably do that for the next few weeks just so she can see how I fluctuate. Um, because I do, I fluctuate. Um, my cycle is supposed to start, it was supposed to start in the next, the last, the last couple of days. It should be starting literally any moment. Um, and even with that, my, my weight didn't go up, which I usually do go up when it's time for my cycle to start that month. Um, but again, this month we had a lot of variables with being sick and stressed and all of that. So my body, I think is just kind of evening back out right now. Um, like I said, everything seems to be evening right back out where it should be right now, which is good. Um, so, uh, with that, we're just keeping everything the same this week so I can get a solid week under my belt of exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and then we'll take it from there as far as if we're going to, you know, increase macros or whatever, because I am still trying to grow. I am still trying to grow. Um, I'm not ready to cut yet, uh, though I will say that if you look at my photos from prior to me getting sick versus now, I look like I've been cutting. And it's just because inflammation is gone. It's just because the inflammation is gone. So um, that part has been actually really good. Um, so as we go forward, I did order the Olympian 2.0 shoes from Shoe Fairy. Um, and we've decided that those are going to be my shoes because I checked in in those in this morning. Um, those are going to be my shoes for a few reasons. A, I think it's easier for me to walk and pose in. I can actually walk faster and move faster in these, in these heels. Um, and B, I'm so tall. Um, my legs are so long that having that four and a half inch heel versus the five inch heel actually helps make my legs and my glutes look a little bit thicker. So things to keep in mind, um, you know, your, your heels can affect your overall look as well. So look at those kinds of things. Um, I don't necessarily think the five inch heels were detrimental. I just think that the four inch, four and a half inch heels, that's just an added bonus for me. Right? 
So um, I am working on those. They still do feel a little bit weird because they're a little different, and I've been wearing five-inch heels for a long time now. So I just need to get really comfortable with those, um, and then we'll move forward with those as my stage heels. Um, other than that, everything's staying the same. Like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting even back out. I'm getting even backed out, back out, and I'm actually really happy that shows don't really start up again until March because it's going to give me, you know, a good month and a half or so to really put the work in, right, and and be even and 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 get those improvements showing, right. I was on that path up until I got sick. <laughs> So, you know, again, there's some pluses and minuses to this. Um, I think overall it's going to be a good thing. It's a good thing that I went through all of that, that I did. And I got antibodies for the rest of the year, so I'm good. I'm solid. I'm straight. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, but it was probably the worst sickness I've ever had in my life. I don't ever remember being that sick before. So um, it, was, it was rough. It was rough for a little bit there, but we're good now. We're good. Um, also, the last part of this video, I'm going to start showing and sharing clips um, from Cuties Conquering the Stage that just happened this past weekend, and also from Olympia. I have so much footage that I have not had a chance to get out to you guys because of everything that happened this last month with me being sick, and then once I got better, I had to focus on Cuties Conquering the Stage. So um, it's just been one thing after another. So again, I'm glad I have like six weeks before these shows really start ramping up. So um, I hope you guys have had a fantastic holiday season. Uh, if you followed along with Cuties Conference from the Stage, I hope you come next year. If you did come, I would love it if you write down in the comment section some of the things that you loved about being there. Um, let our ladies know why it's important to attend events like this and why you will be back next year, right? Um, and also just let me know how you're doing and how your improvement season is going. If you've had to deal with some of these um, these things that I had to deal with over the last, <laughs> over the last month or so here, um, and always remember, I posted about this on my Instagram yesterday, that what looks like a setback could actually end up being something that's beneficial for you. And I feel like that's what's happening with how my sickness went through uh, through the holidays. So, you know, just ride out the storm. I mean, you got to ride out the storm uh, to get to the rainbow, right? So I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, Keep watching for more footage and I'll be back again and we'll check in again next week and get this thing back onto a regularly scheduled program for you and we'll see you back here soon.